Welcome back, boys. My name is Rob. This is my 77 911, and this is episode 37. I, I can't believe this. It's been almost three years to the day since I started this project where I dropped the engine for the first time. I had no idea what I was doing. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to remove your pedals, and we're going to be rebuilding them with bronze bushings and repainting stuff. I ended up having to do this because my master cylinder died and it leaked brake fluid all over this and I didn't want it to rust out and I noticed that the bushings were getting bad but I didn't really notice any problems in terms of drivability. Enough talking, let's tear these out. All right, so here's your pedal. On the back of the pedal, there's gonna be this like spherical thing right here. That's what this goes on to. This is your pedal linkage. You wanna pop that off. Um, you can basically just pull this toward you and then you can unscrew the bottom here. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is get the clutch all the way down so we can get to the clutch clevis pin. Since I disconnected the clutch cable from the clutch fork and stuff on the transmission, this just will fling down there right now. Now you can kind of see what we're dealing with. There's a clevis pin here. There's really not much room. It's, it's kind of inaccessible. It's behind the throttle linkage assembly. Maybe I can pop this off too. I am not going to be able to film this just because this is going to be a pain in the ass, I can tell. So I'm going to have to crawl under here and contort and rip it off. I actually got that clevis pin out pretty easily. Um, if yours is worn, it's actually going to have a groove in here, which might make it more difficult to remove. Mine was in pretty good shape, luckily, so I lucked out. Now we're going to need to disconnect the brake pedal from the master cylinder. Now, see this big gold rod here? That's, that's the master cylinder right there. Now we're going to remove that pin up there and try to get that rod out of there so that this whole thing is loose. So here's the master cylinder of the booster. Apparently we need to remove this big bolt right here. All right, I figured it out. This is just a pedal brace. This is what the bolt on the master cylinder out there, we took that out. Now this is disconnected. This one, um, it should slide out once there's a pin, but to get the cluster out itself, I took off these two fasteners right here in front. There's two more, one here and one there. And in order to get those, you need to go under the car and take off two nuts. Then this whole thing should slide out of here. So now we're under the car. This is, the pedal cluster is right here. I'm facing backwards. So the back of the car is that way. Now we're just gonna take these two nuts off. They were 13 millimeters on my car. If you have an earlier car, I believe your master cylinder is gonna be right here. Ugh. I'm not gonna film this. All right, we should be able to get this thing out of here now. There should be nothing holding it in. There she is. All right, so I degreased these things and cleaned them up pretty well, but that's about it. One thing that's kind of nice is you can see that this car has so little corrosion, so I really don't need to fix much, but that brake fluid got into the pedal cluster here, the base, and ate away all the paint. So I'm gonna need to paint that, otherwise it's gonna rust out. The other thing I noticed was that the clutch arm has been elongated. It's like a big pill shape now because it's worn so much. I don't know if I'm gonna order a new one or if I'm just gonna fill this with weld and just drill it out yet. That would be pretty cool because it would save me like 70 bucks. But yeah, let's, uh, let's take this thing apart and start replacing all the bushings. Dudes, so clutch arm elongated right doesn't look good a new clutch arm is like 70 bucks which i mean i guess but i think what i'm gonna do is try to fill this up with weld and then just drill a new hole All right, after some dremeling, this turned out awesome. So, very stoked, saved myself 70 bucks. Gonna reuse this clutch arm, gonna throw a coat of paint on it and get this stuff back together. 
All right, I wound up painting a couple of these parts and baked them in a toaster oven, so these are ready to go. Here's how the clutch arm turned out. Pretty happy about that. I suck at welding, but you know what? I did that, so we'll see if it holds. <laughs> 